Hello YouTube. I would like to show you how to uh, do running uh, dirt with dirt which has uh, run in the rain down the side uh, of a tank wagon. And um, I have uh, one way of doing it which is rather simple. It may be a good place for beginners like myself to start because it is uh, very simple to, uh, to make the ingredients and all you have to do is uh, practice painting the dirt in straight lines down this rather large side of a gauge one tank wagon. You can use the same technique to dirty up the uh, sign which is located in the uh, bottom left of the uh, tank wagon. To do it you need three things. One, humbrol decal fix. Two, a little water. And three, pigments. I use a flat, wide brush to apply the solution. The deco fix is used to fix the pigments to the uh, wagon. Along with the water, it is also used to dilute the uh, consistency and uh, opacity of the color of the pigments. So if you want a very thin consistency, which is hard to see, but that you actually can see, you would use more decofix and more water and less pigments. And the opposite is also true. In order to have a thicker, more clearly visible color, you would use less decofix and less water and more pigments in your mix. In order to try and find the right consistency for your tastes, you should uh, try and mix it in a tray and uh, then apply this, uh, the mix to another part of the tray so you can see what it will look like before putting it on the wagon. If you've already put pigments on some parts of the wagon which you intend to uh, run over with the uh, dirt consistency, you should lightly and carefully tap the brush uh, with only a small consistency of the uh, uh, dirt above the um, or on the uh, pigments which you've already put on the wagon, and that uh, should hardly uh, damage uh, the uh, the pigments you've already put on at all. After you've put on the consistency, you can use a paper towel to wipe some of it off. Even though you may have used a uh, thin see-through uh, color in itself, which is very transparent, it can still look pretty thick when it is uh, put on the, uh, on the tank wagon uh, with the brush. And uh, if you use a paper towel to wipe some, uh, less or more of it, of it off, that effect will be lessened. The differences can seem subtle, but if you compare a part of the wagon which has not been weathered with the, uh, the dirt with the part of the wagon which has been weathered, you can clearly see a distinction. The solution does not cause problems with dry acrylic paint, so you can just go over on top of the acrylic paint without fear of destroying that. For some reason, yellow is easier to damage, so be more careful. Thank you. 
I accidentally wiped too much off, but I can easily uh, repaint it again uh, immediately after, so it's no problem. In pretty much all the images I've seen of uh, real tank wagons, uh, the ends of the tank wagon look almost the same as the sides of the tank wagon. If uh, dirt has been running down uh, halfway of the side of the tank, that usually is also the case of the ends of the tank wagon. If you try using a very thin consistency, you get something looking approximately like this. Running dirt also finds its way onto the black parts which uh, hold the tank, so you should also uh, take care to paint those parts. And you should make sure to wipe the ends uh, with, uh, with a piece of uh, paper towel because otherwise the consistency will create pools and not streaks. The ends of the tank wagon bend more heavily, which means that the uh, consistency won't flow as easily. So you will have to uh, more often uh, wipe the brush downwards in order to create streaks. If you want a specific place on the wagon to look uh, particularly dirty, you can pick up uh, with your brush a small amount of uh, pigment and place directly on the wagon in the wet surface. And you can then uh, proceed to wipe uh, this pigment, uh, smudge it around a little bit, smudge it down a little bit, and then it will create a darker area uh, than, the rest of the than where the rest of the consistency has been applied.